हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली लाइक माय वीडियोस इफ दे हेल्प्स इन योर लर्निंग नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द डिवाइस शोन इज यूज्ड फॉर लिफ्टिंग 55 गैलन ड्रम्स डिटरमाइंस द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड एट पॉइंट बी राइट सो एज वी कैन सी दैट 2.2 किलो न्यूटन लोड इज सपोर्टेड राइट सो दिस मींस दैट एट दिस पर्टिकुलर मोमेंट uh the weight of this drum is approximately 2.2 kN right so it's given right so if if i draw the reaction force is at point d and c right so uh, here we will have one reaction force at this particular point and it will be acting uh in the positive x direction like this let's say that this is my positive x and y direction so let's say that this reaction is cx and here we will have a uh, uh, one reaction which will be acting vertically downward at this surface right so let's say that this is uh, cy similarly we will have uh, two reaction forces here as well right so one force will be acting in the negative x direction like this we will have this uh, reaction force let's say this is dx and similarly we will have one reaction force which will be acting vertically downward like this right so this is dy we can say that this 2.2 kN force will be supported by this uh, by this arm and this arm equally right so this means that this cy will be equal to the half of this 2.2 kN and this dy will be the half of this 2.2 kN right so the this total load will be equally divided in at this point d and this point c right so we can directly say that this cy will be equal to uh, 1.1 kN and similarly we can say that this dy will be equal to 1.1 kN now since in this problem we are required to determine the magnitude of the force exerted at this point d so to find the magnitude of the force that is exerted at this point d what we need to do is that we need to consider uh this side either this side or either this side right we need to consider this bd member or we need to consider this abc part of this device right and then we will consider that for static equilibrium right so then we will if that they will that will enable us to find the magnitude of that force b right so now uh, let me represent that uh 2.2 kN force here right so now if i draw the free body diagram right so we will have this as a free body diagram like this right this will be our free body diagram here we have that uh, 2.2 kN force here that is uh, this is that cy which is 1.1 kN and cx is not known right and similarly at this particular point b we will have a bx reaction and similarly we will have a by reaction which will be acting vertically downward right first i will apply the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 right since at point b we have two unknowns right so the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 so and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that uh, this cy is producing the clockwise moment about that point b and similarly this is cx is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point b so i will write cx it is producing clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance of this cx from that point b is this 240 mm right if i draw that cx here so the perpendicular distance of this cx from that point b is this 240 mm so i will multiply this with the uh, 240 similarly this cy is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so i will write minus cy is 1.1 kN and the perpendicular distance of this cy from that point b right the cy is acting here right so now as we can see that the distance between uh, point b and that the edge of the drum is 293 right so we can say that this distance is also uh, this distance is also 293 right like like this if i place it here so this distance is 293 right and point b is at a distance of 33 mm from this center line right so this distance is 33 right so this means that the distance between uh, 
C Y and point B is uh, 293 minus 33, right? So this 1.1 kilonewton, the perpendicular distance of this 1.1 kilonewton from that point B is, uh, I will write it as 293 minus uh, 33, right? So this is 260. We can write that this is 260 mm. And similarly, as we can see that this 2.2 kilonewton force is also producing the clockwise moment about that point B. So I will write minus this is 2.2. And the perpendicular distance of this 2.2 kilonewton force from that point B is this 33 mm. So I will multiply this with the 33 and this will be equal to 0. And if we take uh, these two to the other side of equation, so they will become positive, right? So this will become positive. So we can find Cx, right? So Cx, we will divide both sides by 240. So Cx is equal to this thing, right? So I can find this, this is 1.1 1 .1 into 260 plus 2.2 .2 into 33 divided by 240. So, this is uh, 1.494, right? So, Cx is 1.494 kilonewton, right? So now we know this Cx which is uh, 1.494 kilonewton. Now if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, this is our positive direction, right? So now as we can see that this uh, Bx is acting in the negative x direction. So I will write minus Bx and Cx is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write plus Cx and Cx magnitude is uh, known. Let me write that this is Cx, this is equal to 0. So, from this equation, we can say that Bx is equal to Cx equals to 1.494 kilonewton. So, Bx is equal to Cx. This is equal to 1.494 kilonewton. Similarly, if, we, if I apply the summation of forces along y direction equals to 0 and if this is our positive y direction, right, this is our positive y. So now as we can see that this By is acting in the negative Y direction. So I will write minus By. This is acting 2.2 kilonewton is acting in the positive Y direction. So I will write plus 2.2. Similarly, this Cy is acting in the negative Y direction. So I will write minus 1.1 and this is equal to 0. So this is minus By and this is a plus 1.1 equals to 0. So, from this we can write that By equals to 1.1 kilonewton, right? So, this is Bx and this is By and we are required to find, determine the magnitude of the force at B, right? So, the magnitude of the force at B will be equal to Bx square plus By square and then we have to take the square root, right? The resultant of both are these. So, Bx plus By will give us the resultant, right? So, this is equal to Bx. So, Bx is 1.494 square plus 1.1 squared. And then we will take the square root. 1.494 squared plus 1.1 squared. This is equal to 1.855, right? So, B magnitude is 1.855 kilonewton, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem. If uh, these videos helps in your learning, kindly like uh, all my videos so that YouTube can promote my channel and it will help me a lot.